Hello everybody, this is Kawaii Bubblegum Kitty here, oh, <laughs> bringing you, finally, the first episode of the 100 Babies Challenge! Yay! <laughs> this was long waited for, and it's, uh, yeah, you know, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I just haven't. So, I'm sorry about that, but here I am, and I'm finally doing it! Yay! So, quick introduction to our character, Miss Gabriella Essington. If you didn't see my, um, criticism that I put up just before I put this up of her, um, and here are her family members, Miriam, Marshall, and Harrison Essington. Anyways, so, I promised you a backstory on her. So I'm gonna give it to you now, while I do some other things to take care of her basic needs. And look at her. <laughs> oh, and here are her traits. Romantic, materialistic, business savvy, hot-headed, and thrifty. You know, cause she's cool like that. <laughs> um, but as you can see, she's definitely not, like, mother material. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, like, I don't mean it in a bad way, but she kind of isn't. And so she was supposed to be a mansion baron, but I sort of accidentally completed that before I had a chance to have her complete it by herself. Um, but you know what? Things happen. My mistake. Anyways, we'll just have her do that, you know? <laughs> okay, so, also, it's going to be really glitchy, and I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm letting you know that now. My other episodes that I have recorded are not as glitchy as this one. Yay. Um, but it might get to the point that I have to cut out some of this video, and I'll just tell you about that in the next video. So don't hate me, okay? Now, finally, to the backstory. So, little Miss Ethington here, um, she was grown up into a great environment. Her parents were wealthy and very successful in life. Um, but her not so much. She's very bad at making the right choice. <laughs> um, but... Anyways, her family put that aside, and they still loved her as her own. Um, look at this baby room. I just made that, by the way. It's super cute. Anyways, um, so they still loved her as her own, as their own, because obviously she was. Um, but one day, they just got fed up with her. She kept spending too much money, did not have a job, and personally, she did not have any goals in life that she wanted to complete. So, that's when she got kicked out of the house, and she's living here now. Her parents were very nice, and, you know, still spoiled her a little bit, and gave her money. Um, so she's gonna go out and go shopping, um, for, you know, new clothing, because she feels like these clothings are too, you know, last season. Um, that's not supposed to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not supposed to be there. Um, but... So she's sort of, you know, she's ready, she's got everything she needs so far, and she should be able to do everything that she needs to, uh, for the time being. But since she's going out and she has this way of spending money like no other, <laughs> she is not good at budgeting. So I can see her running out of money sometime soon, but that's when she came up with the idea. If she had babies, instead of having to put work into making money, you know what she could do? Get child support. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add my own little twist and spin to this Let's Play. Instead of it just being a normal one, this is the really glitchy part, just letting you know. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to add my own little spin to it, and I'm going to make it. So that every time she has a child with one person, she will get $50 at the end of each week per child for that person. And as you know, you can only have one child or, like, do it one time with one person. And I'm, I was like, okay, okay, that's okay. But still, the child support happens. And also, because she's getting child support, that means that she... My Sim will not be doing any sort of job like it entails in the rules. You cannot have a job, so it fits. But also, she will not be working on any skills or doing any of that. That will all be her kids. Her kids will be the one 
who get the skills levels up and help her earn money to keep the house and get a nice house and do all of that sort of stuff. I know it sounds sort of heartless of me, but it's not me. I'm acting as a god for this character, okay? And this character, this is just how she is. I created her like this, yes. And I'm making the story, yes. But at the same time, she's her own person. Like, the people that I make, I give them a certain outline, a basic outline of sorts. And then, as I'm going along, I create a story for them. That fits them. That fits their personality choice. That fits their appearance, just how they would act and everything. So, yes, it's me, and technically, yes, it will always be me, so you might see me as heartless, but truthfully, I'm just doing it in her perspective, how I would see her perspective. So, that's pretty much what's happening. Um, so, now we're going to go to a bar, and we're going to go hang out with some peoples. <laughs> um, and this is like a major glitchy part, too, so I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to hate me. You could just listen to my beautiful voice, you know? Um, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm actually going to upload this part and the second part. So then, you know, you'll see how unlaggy that one part is compared to this. <laughs> it's definitely better. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think I covered everything. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Oh yes, I'm also going to make it so that when she moves out of the house, it's actually going to be the teenager in the house who becomes the next mother of this challenge. Because I have pre um, teen pregnancy in, um, one of the teens may get pregnant, but I'm not going to count that as one of the babies. I'm only going to count it if that teenager grows up and becomes the new mother. But, as I said before, the teenager of the family, who is a girl, is going to be the new mother, and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to age her up. Because as you know, all of the adults of the family have to move out. So, it's going to have to be a teenager. Um, and at that point, Pretty much, probably what will happen is, you know, Miss Little Gabriella will move on with her life. Probably won't have a husband. If she does, I would be very surprised. Um, and her kids will actually stay with the older sister and she will take care of them and then move them out and then start her new family. So it's definitely going to be a longer sort of gameplay challenge than most people's and it's definitely going to be different than most people's because I'm not following the traditional rules and I'm not doing the cookie cutter style like, oh, there's this lady. Yeah, she's super sweet. She just wants a really big family. Like, maybe she went through some hard times in her family, so she wants to create a good family for other children. And she's going to give birth to them. No, I'm going the deep dark route. Child support. <laughs> this is a self-centered bee who cannot think of anything but money and herself. So... That's just how it's going to be. But the next mother is definitely going to be different. I can see her having some of the traits and like lifestyles that her mom had, but at the same time, be a completely different person. And I'm excited for when that comes, but right now, we need to calm down, come back to the present, and play with Miss Gabriella. <laughs> and as you can see, she's getting all hot and smoky with this guy next to her, and she disappeared because it's very laggy. <laughs> but... Yeah, because we were taking her home because I figured out that his wife, actually, because I forgot I gave him a wife, was right in front of him working at the bar. <laughs> Smarticles, yeah. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're actually going to invite him to our house. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some of those little, um, those little lights that give you a fluty... Can't speak. 
<laughs> um, a moodlet of sorts. I can't remember what they're called. All I know is that they're lights. <laughs> um, so, you know, she's getting ready. And she's doing all of that stuff. And... Yeah, this is getting really, really, really laggy. Um, and I'm sorry for that. Oh, it's her mom and she has no shoes. Uh, I'm really sorry. Okay, I can't, I can't handle this anymore. I'm sorry, but I have to end this part here. Um, and I will be uploading the second part as I already told you. So I will be telling you everything that's going on in the second part. Um, that's going on in this part after I exit. Um. Just letting you know. So then, you know, you're all caught up, but you won't have to deal with this lagginess. They're literally standing in the same spot for like three seconds. Not three seconds, like a minute. But, <laughs> so I love you all. I will see you in the next video. I'm so sorry. See you later. Bye.